Hi, welcome back. Let's talk about inferences about two means with independent samples. The way to approach this problem, one way to approach this problem actually, is to construct a confidence interval. We're going to do this with three easy steps. Let's look at our problem. In the summer of 1988, Yellowstone National Park had major fires that destroyed large tracts of old timber near many famous trout streams. Fishermen were concerned about the long-term effects of the fires on the streams. However, biologists claimed that the new meadows that would spring up under the dead trees would produce more insects, which in turn would mean better fishing. Data was available on past and present daily catches. We'd like to test the biologist's claim. We have two populations, so as I said before, we're going to construct a confidence interval about the two means. Let's look at the three steps. The first step that we're going to have to do is to find the critical value. The critical value with two populations is based on n minus 1 degrees of freedom. But in this case, we're going to choose the lesser of n1 minus 1 and n2 minus 1 to determine our degrees of freedom. In this case, we're going to use 124 degrees of freedom. Let's go to our student t distribution table to help us find the critical value. We have only 100 or 200 to choose from. We're going to select the closer value for our degrees of freedom. Our critical value, based on an alpha of 0.05, is 1.984. So we have a critical value of 1.984. The next step is to calculate the margin of error. This is simply the critical value, 1.984, times the square root of the variance of the first population, which is 1.9 squared, over the sample size of the first population, 167, plus the variance of the second population, 2.3 squared, over the sample size of the second population, which is 125. This gives us a margin of error of 0 0.5017. The third step is simply the construction of the confidence interval about the difference of the two point estimates for our two populations. We are simply going to look at the sample mean of the first minus the sample mean of the second plus or minus our margin of error. This is then going to be described as 5.2 minus 6.8 minus our margin of error 0 0.5017 and the differences of our true population means will be bracketed by these values of 5.2 minus 6.8 and in this end plus our margin of error 0 0.5017. 5017. This gives us a confidence interval of negative 2.1017 to negative 1.0983. Now let's interpret this interval and see what it is it's telling us. We can see that all of these values within our confidence interval are negative. What this is telling us then is that mu1 minus mu2, the population mean of the first minus the population mean of the second, are less than zero. We can conclude from this that the biologist's claim of better fishing is in fact true. We can be 95% confident that this interval contains the true difference of the population means and supports the biologist's claim that we're going to have better fishing after the fire. Thanks and see you next time.